Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Her mission, to boldly go where no hen has gone before. Captain, it appears we're getting an incoming communication from Starfleet Command. Captain Sussex, I wanted to commend you and your crew on the Enterprise's recent edition of its poultry bay. Animal protein will be important to maintain your crew's health, and chickens are an excellent source because of their practicality and their efficiency. Chickens are more efficient than cattle, and even more efficient than swine. You've made a wise choice, Captain. Thank you, Admiral. I look forward to seeing you and discussing this further at our next Starfleet convention. Captain, a Vorhawk ship is approaching us. They're demanding communication, and I think their scanners have detected our addition. Allow transmission, Commander. Captain Sussex, it's been some time. My scanners have indicated that the Enterprise has received some new crew members? That's correct, Captain. We have established a sustainable flock of dual-purpose chickens to feed our crew. That's ingenious! My crew is starving for protein. The Vorwerk birds do not produce quality meat. But tell me, why birds? Have you no cattle? The chickens take up far less space and their diet is much easier to sustain. Our birds primarily eat whole grain and corn. And we are able to use soybean and meat meal supplements for protein, calcium, and fat requirements. So we're able to feed our birds from the same plants at the Botanical Bay that we use to feed our crew. In addition, we can compost their waste and excess meat to fertilize those plants. That's quite the cycle, but how large are your flocks? Do not answer that! Well, if you must know, our crew of 50 people eat a sustained diet of poultry-based protein, which consists of 700 eggs and 70 chickens per week. On board, we carry the 1977 Ag Canada meat line, a dual-purpose breed. Our parent stock consists of 150 hens and 20 roosters. Each week we lay 700 table eggs, as well as 100 eggs set aside to incubate. At any point in time, we have 560 birds at varying stages of development, of which 170 birds are raised annually to replace the parent stock. Hmm, good flock size. We have 40 crew members. Lower your shields, prepare to be boarded. You can't have our birds, our crew will starve. Like mine is now? Lower your shields. Captain, be reasonable. Your ship cannot physically sustain the flock. The birds will be wasted. What do you mean? We have an empty warehouse and plenty of wire. And you think that will be sufficient? <laughs> no, Captain. Environmental management is much more complex. For example, proper ventilation is crucial for the healthy environment. It allows for constant fresh air and consistent temperatures. It keeps harmful chemicals and excess moisture out of the air. They require 1% carbon dioxide and methane, less than 40 parts per million of ammonia and hydrogen sulfide, and they require levels of oxygen to be greater than 16%. Air quality is essential for chickens' well-being. Oh, our air is fine. No, Captain, it's not. Beyond that, our birds require meticulous light management, and each stage of development requires different lighting. Our egg layers require moderately intense light from an incandescent or fluorescent bulb. Our growing broilers start out with 23 hours of light as chicks and decrease steadily to 11 hours of light by maturity. Proper light exposure is critical for feed efficiency and reproductive development. That being said, the periods of darkness are important too and must have absolutely no light penetration. So the light that filters through the cargo bay won't help? You're right, it won't. Biosecurity is our number one priority. Our poultry bay is equipped with available shower in and shower out areas and separate uniforms. And visitation and entry are heavily monitored. Our birds are vaccinated, but they cannot be exposed to other avian pathogens from your pets. You would have to establish an intensely sanitary system and I would recommend bringing aboard your own poultry veterinarian. So we'll take you with them. Lower your shields. Prepare to be boarded. Captain, they're firing at our shield! Brace for impact! <laughs> Captain! My first mate and Dr. Mori have made it clear that your ship is not prepared to sustain a flock of its own. Stand down. Captain Sussex, you have not evaded me forever. I have made note of our required renovations, and we will meet again. <laughs> Maybe we should set some eggs aside for them. Well, our warp core would benefit from replenishing our plutonium reserves, and there are plenty of mines on bore work. We could trade, or we could just invite them to the next Enterprise Wing Wednesday. It's a good idea, Commanders. Perhaps we can strike an agreement. Time will tell.